Warriors, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today I have a very special guest with me, my son, the Cutie Patootie Packard. Hey. Today we are working on a really fun teacher appreciation gift. I picked up some clay terracotta pots at Lowe's, the hardware store. You can also get this at Michael's as well, or anywhere I'm assuming. Um, these were only like $2.50, so it's a super cheap teacher appreciation gift. That's what he's going to do today. He's only just going to be doing one maybe three, we haven't decided. And then the other thing that you're going to need to purchase with this with this gift idea is some acrylic markers. I have a whole bunch of markers from Edding. There's a whole bunch of different sizes, colors, shapes, textures. So I'm gonna go through everything that we have here today and all the colors. I'm gonna to explain to you too. Okay. So pay attention. Okay. Okay, so the cool thing that I have is Edding sent me over these like 3D double acrylic paints and I like them a lot. I've already done one craft right here. It's upside down because I was going to do a wind chime and this is like very wet. It's almost like puff paint is what I would like to call it. There's two ends like a circle tip and then always go one side like that and then you have like a long tip. Like a highlight like a highlighter yep yeah? and you can see where I did like long lines on this um, on this pot that's how you do it the only downside ooh, the only downside to this is it's very wet this isn't like one of those traditional paint pens that yeah, dries really I quick remember, I remember that we draw a mustache on my face yes we did draw a mustache on his face the other night and it was dry very quick this stuff takes a little while to dry but there comes with a lot of dimension so i do like those everything that is double-sided and tipped like that that pack is all going to be like that okay okay the coolest thing about their markers as well is that we have just a like a felt tipped pen acrylic paint pens i really like them on the back of every single um marker there is this little gauge thing for the opacity to where you can see through it or where it's going to be really super thick and dark can you see that yeah. so black is going to be very on the dark side so it is not going to be able to get see-through so this is right here it's not very see-through now white it's kind of in the middle but it's buildable so if it's still too light you can let it dry and then go over so we got a whole bunch of those and then we have some broad tipped ones and we got some really fine tipped ones and then we have an even finer tip one so we have all different types of prints now with it comes with the neon ones on the opacity side they are very opaque so that means you're going to be able to see through it this is like a highlighter it's going to be very 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 opaque ready i got i got i got one idea for one of the pots on one of the pots you have an idea all right so you can get started that's the explanation of all of that okay. my daughter and her teenager was here the other night and they saw me doing my pots and they said wait a minute we want to do this too y'all this craft is amazing and if a teenager is wanting to do that and her uh, other teenager friend is wanting to do the crafts you know this is good this is a golden craft so I have done a wind chime for Mother's Day. I have three little wind chimes. I'm gonna assemble that while he gets his pots painted. But I've already done three. The girls, however, I had to take them back to Lowe's because they needed to get their own pots. They also chose to do a Mother's Day theme. This is my daughter. As you can see that it has some black marker with gold and red. And she did it all the way around. This one is all rainbows, and some of them have a lot of texture to them. I think the yellow and green and purple, she used the 3D paints with it. Super cute. And then the last one she did was Happy Mother's Day with a couple flowers. Look how cute that is. I love it. So then her girlfriend was over, and she also wanted to do some Mother's Day stuff for her mom that's coming up. And so she did Happy Mother's Day in black, and she used the 3D paints for the for the flowers that she chose she also chose rainbows i you know they didn't collab on their ideas but in the end they had a lot of the same pots so we got some rainbows and she did hers with just not the 3d paint pens 
And then this one, she just did a couple line borders. And then at the very bottom right here, she uh, did some cursive and it just says love. All we're doing with these ones and the one that Pack is doing today, we, I just picked up some flowers as well at Lowe's. They were 388 in my garden section. I'm just going to replant these flowers in these pots right here. And I have some potting soil down on the ground. And we're just going to re put them in there. And it's a super cute and affordable and personal um, Mother's Day gift. And you're doing teacher appreciation, right? Yeah. We're going to give this to my teacher. We're going to give this to his teacher. And it is so personable. On the bottom of the, his vase, whichever pot that he chooses to give to her, I'm going to make him in his own handwriting use the black marker and put his name, first and last name, and year so she can keep it forever and then she can remember you for year from years on end, right? Yeah. Right. If she's watching, if, if you're watching it right now, if you're watching this right now, click off. Yeah, right <laughs> click now. off. Miss because, this. If because, you're watching this, it'll ruin the surprise. It'll ruin the surprise. Quit watching now. Okay, so for the wind chime, this is. I mean, if you already have the markers and you already have the pots, this is going to be a super easy craft. The only thing that you are going to need to purchase is a little bit of cordage. I got this at Michael's. Super cheap. I think it was like three bucks. Use a coupon. Makes it even cheaper. And then I made my own little macrame keychain. I used a jump ring keychain thing, but we're going to hide that at the end so you won't see it. But I just did this to like dangle at the end of uh, wind chime because you know how they always have that so I created one of mine for that that's optional you don't have to make one you don't have to buy one but just think all three of these are going to be here and they're beautiful was that beautiful yeah nice and beautiful then you're just going to need some scissors I've already painted mine I am a no artiste drawer I, I rely am. yeah <laughs> yes he is definitely the artist in the family him and his sister both can draw so well. I draw like a baby. Uh, maybe not like that. No, maybe not like a baby. I feel like I do. I have terrible handwriting, although I preach to the kids to have good handwriting. I have terrible handwriting and I don't draw very well. But I do know how to do crafts. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's a talent. That is a talent. I've already created mine. I've showed you this already. There's a little bit of 3D effect to the paint pens. Um, and it's like, it's almost like puff paint, like I said previously. I love that. And then I just did like a black uh, rim around the bottom and I put Happy Mother's Day. And then for this one, I used the 3D paint pen for the gold and I just did some lines. I used the broad tip like flat line and I just kind of did a little pattern around the entire edge. And this one I wanted to show how buildable the white is. I know you can kind of see my, you can't kind of, you can see the lines of my marker. I was just kind of scribbling. I'm sure if I wanted to take more time to do it, you would actually be able to not see the lines, but I was kind of in a rush. And then the hearts was also the purple 3D paint pens. So let me explain what I'm doing. It's basically like a old board, like, you know, those like, like gray, gray elves around these, and they're just like a green board. Yes. I'm basically going to do that. Oh, like a chalkboard. Yeah, like a chalkboard. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to put, use the white marker, and then write, welcome back. Oh, I love that. I love that. So he is creating an old school chalkboard using some silver as the top. He's going to use the green paint pen for the bottom. Once that dries, he's going to go back in with a white marker and put welcome back. His teacher was out for a really long time um, with some medical issues and it was her first week back last week. And so he has missed her for at least a month. It's been a while since she's been gone. For the assembly of the wind chime, I'm just taking some cordage. I'm not measuring because I don't have a measurement for this, but essentially all you're wanting is if you're, and we're gonna tie this off. You want the cordage to be long enough to where all three of your pots or how many ever pots that you've chosen to have will nicely hang. It is okay if there's extra hanging on the end because we're going to cut that off when we um, tie this off. If you don't have one of these, we're just going to cut the, cut the length off anyways to hide it. But essentially, you're going to want that the um, 
cordage to be long enough to where you're going to be able to do knots all the way down. So kind of make it long. If you want a longer wind chime, then do a longer piece of cord. Trim that off and we don't need this. If you lean it over, whoop, there you go, like that. Lean it like that and then shake and you have to squeeze because it's like a wet paint. Just whoa! Oh, there we go. Do you want a pen, do you want a uh, do you want a paintbrush? Oh uh, sure. Okay. Here you go. Paintbrush. Okay. You can have a foam paintbrush, and actually, you can squeeze it onto that, and then use the paintbrush to paint. Okay. There's that. Use the paintbrush to scoop up that paint, and then when you're done, use this rag to wipe off the excess. So all I did at the very top was just create a little bit of a knot just so when you put this in like this see how that you're gonna hang this this is your part that you're going to hang you're gonna want to create a pretty decent knot some of these pots have different size holes right the bigger pot you get the bigger hole you get so keep in mind that whatever pot you choose you're going to need to create a whole uh, knot big enough to where it won't fall through because the last thing you want is for this entire thing to go crashing down created a knot just double knotted it almost I'm going to do one more just in case okay we are going to take the ends of the two lines and we're just going to stuff it into the top of the second vase I'm going to keep my hand on the knot right here I'm just going to push this all the way up so keeping your hand inside of that knot you kind of want to adjust it so this wherever the line is see how there is like I'm holding on to it pinching the rope with the fingertips and you can adjust it so the next knot that you're going to create if you only want a little bit of your next spot to show that's fine if you want more of it to show then just kind of slide it around keep your fingers on that now I'm going to take I'm going to slip this off I still have my fingers pinched on the part of the rope where that's where my next knot is going to go and I'm just going to make another knot right there where my fingers were pinched and I'm going to create another knot just to make sure it is it will not slip through the holes of the pot there we go now I'm going to slip this back up top there we go love 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 same thing with the first with the first okay. one that you did now we, Ooh, I love that we have just finished I'm it, probably gonna write multiplication problems when I try oh he said he's gonna probably um, put some multiplication on there too after it dries but let's see there it is. That's what it kind of looks like already. This is not the finished product, but it looks like an old school chalkboard. Okay, you're gonna let that dry for a little bit. So the next one I want to do like this is for our family. I want to do like a spacious, like a space theme. Ooh, I love space. Like like we could use the yellow to make a star. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna do that. And then when we're done with that, it'll dry, and then I could just put this in my bedroom. Yes, you could. Absolutely, you totally could. I strung the string through the hole, just like I did it previously. Holding up my wind chime, I'm going to gauge where I want that next knot to go. Have it right about where it is. I pinched my hand on that. Slide that forward. This is where it gets a little bit tight because the uh, pot is so small, but and it's hard to see. Here is my pinched fingers, and I am just going to create a knot into that right where my fingers are pinched. And I'm going to do a second knot just to make sure it does not fall through. Now we have it. There's that. All we need to do is slip the big pot onto the top. Doesn't that just sound amazing? That looks cool. Does it look so cool? Yeah, it looks like we just like put down the front door and then we just do this. Oh, like a cowbell. Yeah, like a yeah, cowbell. Yeah, it does. It's supposed to be a wind chime. Huh. Mm -hmm. So it just blows the wind? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going to stuff all three of those back in there, turn it around. Same thing what we did with the pots. I'm going to essentially do it with this keychain, but I'm only going to slip it through one piece of that. And I'm going to make sure that wherever I tie this off, you won't see that metal ring because I don't want that to be seen. And I'm just going to tie a knot around the metal jump ring. Now I have a little bit of excess. Just going to cut this off. Now, if you did not have a metal jump ring, I would have just cut it off right at the end of that knot so you couldn't see the ends ever. But there we go. Look at that. Do you love it? is done super simple I think outside of the paint pens the pots themselves for two dollars a piece so two four six six dollars for a full wind chime plus a little bit of cordage like I said this is fairly cheap maybe four dollars for that entire roll and I have a lot left over so a super affordable Mother's Day gift or even a spring craft idea and summer camps are coming up this is a great summer camp idea craft idea for kiddos since he's still working on his pots i'm going to replant these flowers into these small little pots while i wait for him to finish up the one his pot the one Can I show it though? Yeah? Yeah. All right, Scuba Steve is done with his teacher appreciation pot. It turned out so stinking cute. I think he did a really good job. She is going to love this. Let me peel the sticker off real quick. Yeah. So then you can write your name on the bottom. Name and year. So like I said previously, he chose to do a, like a chalkboard looking, um, background so it's green with a little bit of silver and then he did welcome back in white with some multiplication problems and then a little rainbow I love it so now before we plant the flower I'm going to have him write his name and year on the bottom just so his teacher knows forever who this came from how about you press pause and bloop. awesome good job dude high five all right, I'm gonna turn this around. Don't worry, it won't get messed up because it's divoted in. See, ready, bing. All right, let's put a little bit of soil in the bottom. You chose a pink flower for Miss Mint. We're just gonna shove that in there. And then, it's a little messy, that's okay. Nothing a little plain won't do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, there you go. What do you think? Do you love your finished product? Mm-hmm. Nice to show it off to our camera. Bing! Look at that! So cute. You did such a good job. I bet she's going to cry. Think she's gonna cry? No. I gave her. I gave. I gave her like. A thing. I gave her a drawing. Before. Oh okay. Are you so, done now? Yeah. So now we got all the stars in the back and the front like that, and then boom. <laughs> the you earth, have a moon. The earth and the sun. Mm hmm And the moon. Yeah. And the moon. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me show it up. So closer. this half store. This half of the universe is. This half of the universe is light because if you haven't learned about this, it's basically like if like the sun can move around. And before I thought the sun can like like land it on the uh, like crash on Earth, but it just moves around. It rotates. Yeah, it rotates. So if it's on the left side, the left side's um um sunny. Sunny, and then if and if it and the sun's not on the right. And then that's going to be the moon, the moon shop, and then they're just going to keep switching it. Rotating. Yeah. All right. This is what he created for his bedroom. This little cute little flower. Well, I'm going to put it outside. I'm going to put it inside the living room. Oh, 
We're gonna have a living room pot now with a with a plant. We have to get an extra flower because I had bought enough, but one of the pods did not have a flower in it. Rude, right? We ripped off. We are ripped off. All right, y'all. That is it for the craft castle today. I hope I we have inspired you to create and draw and paint and just be creative. All right, y'all. We will see you later. Bye. Bye. You ready? Mm -hmm. oh, can you move your hair just a little bit out of your face? There. You look. There you go. Just like that. We're recording. Help. All right, love. Okay. Is this? Oh, it's not inverted. You can't read my shirt. No, it's not. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, Are you the flower? Look at my Um. Savannah, do you want to eat? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, there's a little bit of <laughs> Can this be like the. What's it called? Intro? Cheer no, video? no, um. The outro? The. The the clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a big box. Shadow puppet. <laughs> Why is my hand like that? Can I see? <laughs> 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 Why am I not? Just, you have to reach forward. Oh, yeah. <laughs>